I bought this China CNC second hand locally um, and yeah it's been a few months now so let's give it a review. I'll also show you some milling, um, my motor settings and some engraving of wood, plastic, yeah. So let's have a look. The CNC was purchased second hand locally for $650. That's including PC setup, full version of Mac 3 and engraving bits. Upon receiving it, they told me that they've installed all new cables since the cabling that comes stock has been known to break and cause a lot of issues. So let's talk about what you want to know. The 3040 China CNC is what they say is good for hobbyists. I have mostly been using it for pine wood, softwood, although the speeds and feeds are slow so I don't break my engraving bits. But you can handle it, you just have to make sure your cutting bits are sharp. The max cutting area is 29 centimeters by 39 centimeters. I bought Vetrix VCarve desktop software because of its simplicity. It has its price, but you can download the trial version to see if it's right for you. I suggest if you are one of those people deciding on whether to get a CNC, look at all the different softwares that are available to you. I still have a lot to learn into operating the CNC, but my settings have been running well and I've had no problems regarding stalling so far. Here you can see all my motor settings, they are the same for the X, Y and Z axis, but play around with the slides to suit your machine because every machine is slightly different. So for the rest of the video, I'm going to show you what the CNC does best. So yeah, enjoy.
conclusion is it's a really good CNC for a beginner like myself but now that I've dipped my toes in the water I kind of want to build my own CNC a bit more bigger so um uh, yeah the spindle is good the motors are strong and it is solid um, I recommend this to those people who are interested in CNC but uh, not willing to go full scale just yet um, it's a good machine to learn on and to have fun with to do all different sorts of projects um, but one more thing put it in a box please um, the noise is a bit loud especially when you've got the spindle up at full max and that's almost every time um, so yeah it also tool breakages it could still uh, it could help uh, stop bits from being flown around the room or in your face so a bit more as a safety thing um, I built a box straight away before I actually even got it um, and yeah uh, it's a great machine good for beginners and learners same as the Vetric software um, I will consider other people to who are interested in CNC like myself um, do it as a small hobby to consider buying their software um, it is a bit of money but it's well worth it um, uh, as for cleaning it out I suggest every two weeks do a full clean out depends on how much you use it um, just to make sure you get all the little bits of uh, dust and debris that you get from uh, all your materials um, so that it doesn't clog up the machine over time um, so yeah it is a great machine I am still learning but I am having fun with all the projects that I'm doing with it and yeah hopefully I can convince some of you people to save up for one of these little machines so in the future you can start doing all these little projects that I'm doing so yeah be sure to like the video if you've got any questions that you think I can answer comment them below and I'll see if I can answer them um, but yeah that's all I have to say about this machine it's a great machine and yeah see you guys in the next video cheers